Hello, my name is Sarah Hale and together with my colleague Hans-Peter Arp, who works at the Norwegian Geotechnical Institute with me, we're going to be leading a new European research project called Zero PM for the next five years. In our previous film, we introduced you to the project, but in this film, I would like to tell you a little bit more about all the different work packages and the work that we're going to do over the next five years. So to help show you what we're going to do in Zero PM, I'll bring up the Zero PM triangle. It's heavily inspired by the toxic free hierarchy, which was presented in the European Union's chemical strategy for sustainability towards a toxic free environment. The triangle has three interlinked strategies, prevention, prioritization, and removal. Let's have a look first at our prevention strategy within Zero PM. Prevention is the best method because if we don't produce or use or release these substances, then they don't get into the environment in the first place. Within our prevention section, we have three work packages. The first work package is called Alternatives Assessment. And here we're going to look for alternatives to these harmful PM substances. We're going to take into consideration technological, life cycle and psychological barriers. And the work will be done by Stockholm University, Chalmers University of Technology and the University of Vienna. The second work package that we have in our prevention section is called Policy. And here we're going to look for opportunities and gaps within the current policy framework for persistent and mobile substances. This work is going to be carried out by Milieu, Lorem Policy Consulting and the German Environment Agency. Then our final work package that we have in the prevention section is called Market Transition. And here our partner Chemsec will work together with the chemical industry to catalyse a market transition away from these harmful PM substances. Now let's look at the prioritisation section of Zero PM and here we have two work packages. The first is called substance grouping and here we're going to look at groups of PM substances on the chemical market and prioritise them for prevention and removal efforts. This work is going to be done by NGI, by the University of Luxembourg and by EMPA. The second work package that we have is called risk assessment and here we're going to look at characterising and quantifying the risk of these substances in the environment, looking at both internal and external exposure. This work will be carried out by our partners via University Amsterdam, Fraunhofer ITM and TG Environmental Research. And the final section of the Zero PM triangle is called removal. Here we have one work package called technical solutions. Within technical solutions, we're going to look at novel remediation methods, but we'll look at the tipping point to find out when a particular method is sustainable. This work will be carried out by our partners DVGW, NEVA and the University of the Aegean. And with that, our Zero PM triangle is complete. Surrounding all the scientific work packages, we have two work packages focusing on project management and dissemination and communication. If you'd like to know more about the project, please go to our website at zeropm.eu. Zero PM, zero pollution of persistent and mobile substances. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under grant agreement number 10103675.